Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Melting Math. In this video, we are going to discuss about computer and introduction, which is in the 6th standard Tamil Nadu news syllabus term 1 science book and it's a unit 7. Okay. Here, an introduction is nothing but the basic concept. So, we are going to discuss about basic concepts of computer in this unit. Okay. Uh, we are familiar with the word computer and uh, I think everybody saw the use of computers in your day to li day life. Just mention any of the uses of computer that you seen in your surroundings. Okay, let me mention it. Uh, first, we can uh, see the computers in your school. Okay, in your school, every school they add their specific computer lab uh, to teaching the to teaching about the computer for the students okay for in every school they add a separate computer lab and uh, we can also see the computer in the textile shop they use the computers for uh, building okay next uh, we can see the uh, computers in railway station uh, they in there also they are using uh, uh, computers for uh, building the tickets and uh, booking the tickets okay in banks also we can see the uses of computers in bank uh, they are using the computers for uh, money transfer and uh, opening the accounts like that in uh, atm also we can see the computer because atm is a, a program like a computer only when we use it means you can feel it atm is also like the computer only uh, okay next uh, we can uh, easily seen in our post office also local post office also so a uh, computer is everywhere in our surroundings it's it's used uh, most of them it's helpful for most of the, them okay then what about uh, uh, the laptops uh, uh, tablets uh, uh, mobile phones so uh, these laptops tablets mobile phones are the different types of computers because these laptops tablets computers will perform same like computer okay uh, when we uh, i will give you the just uh, an example uh, in computer we can see the youtube means in laptop also we can see the youtube in tablet also we can see the youtube in mobile also we can see the youtube so the program the performance of all these uh, four will be the same manner only okay that's uh, speed will uh, vary according to their uh, uh, according to their uh, devices uh, so but their performance uh, but their features uh, the features of uh, all these computer tablets mobile phones uh, laptops are same that's why they are performing like uh, same manner but their speed will differ according to their device um, according to the device okay uh, speed will differ according to the uh, ram and rom okay ram is the internal storage of uh, uh, any disease uh, any devices ram is the internal storage of uh, any devices and rom is the uh, software working uh, that's a app working uh, space of uh, any devices so if you have more space in ram and rom means it helps your device to run faster okay that's it um, why we need a computer to our home yeah someone having a computer in their home also because uh, what is the reason we are having the computer in your home how this computer helps to us in our home okay let's see it uh, we can use our computer uh, to uh, draw we can use our computer to paint we can use our computer to playing uh, games and one more important thing is we can learn and develop our general knowledge through the computer yes it's a very must because the computer and the internet is there that's provide us so many informations okay next uh, briefly discuss about the computer okay uh, let me say uh, who is the inventor of a computer can everybody have a, a idea about it 
चार्लस बॉबेज ओके लेट मी से चार्लस बॉबेज इज द इन्वेंटर ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर सो वी कॉल्ड हिम एज ए फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर सो चार्लस बॉबेज इज द फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर ही इज एन मैथमेटिशियन ओके इनफ ही इन्वेंटेड दिस कंप्यूटर फॉर द रीजन ऑफ सॉल्विंग द मैथमेटिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ओके दैट्स व्हाई ही मेड द कंप्यूटर ओके द रीजन ऑफ uh inventing the computer is to calculate the mathematical problems is to solve the mathematical equations okay that's it in that first computer uh, one programmer is there her name is agusta ada lovelace lovelace okay she is the first programmer of that computer programmer is what in the in that uh charles babbage designed the computer for the purpose of mathematical reason for the purpose of calculating the mathematical equations in that calculating the mathematical equation we need some operation systems okay we we know uh, mathematical operations are what addition subtraction division these are the mathematical operation so uh, these mathematical op- operations will be programmed by this agusta ada lovelace okay so we called her as a first programmer of computer okay before the computer uh, we are using which device for calculating the mathematics uh, can anybody have the idea yeah it's abacus okay we are using the abacus for calculating the uh, max calculating the numbers in before the invention of a computer okay now we are having a, a calculator in our hand to uh, uh, calculate any of the uh, problems uh, some things okay now we are down up developed okay let's see the definition of computer computer is an electronic device that process the data and information according to our needs so we can save the data and convert it into information okay here they mentioned computer is an electronic device yes yes computer is a electronic device because it works with the help of electronic current electric current okay here uh that process data and information okay first see about data what is the data data is a collection of information and what is information information is the analysis of a data or the conclusion of a data okay let's briefly discuss about it uh, first see about data just imagine in tamil nadu most of the people were affected by the corona virus in chennai only okay in there just assume in there government decide to allot yellow region uh, green region orange region in the particular place of a uh, chennai okay uh, for uh, marking that uh, uh, yellow orange green region they have to they have to uh, collect the data about the people in that place okay like uh, how many of them are living in that uh, how many how many of them are living in that place and how many of them are affected in the place by corona and how many of them are uh, not affected by the corona so uh, government has to collect these all data by collecting that inf- that information is called the data okay uh, if suppose uh, uh, 4000 people are in that place means uh, in that 4000 people uh, 2000 people are affected by corona and uh, rest 2000 people are not affected by the corona so this is the data from the data government decide here 20% 2000 people in the total 4000 2000 people are affected by corona and 2000 people are not affected by corona so 50% of risk is there in that place so we we uh, give we give, we give uh, orange region to that place okay that's the final decision that's the a uh, conclusion of a data or the analysis of a data so that's called the information okay i will clear about it data is nothing but the collection of what information the like i said 
it's a collection of how many peoples are there how many people are affected how many people are not affected it's like that it's a data from the data we are getting one analysis is no is there no we are getting one conclusion from the data is called information here we are getting a uh, total 4000 people 2000 people are affected 2000 people are not affected so 50 percentage of risk is there so we mention orange to this region these 50 percent and orange are the information okay that's it in a, in here computer the data is in the form of numerical and alphabetic manner okay uh, in every computer data is there when we search anything means it gives the information from that numerical and alphabetical value only okay that's it Next, uh, we are using the fifth generation computer now. Before, before uh, in this fifth generation, four generations are there. Okay, let's see about it. In first generation computers, they used vacuum tube. In second generation computers, they used transistor for working. In third generation, they used integrated circuit for uh, storage capacity and working process in fourth generation computer they used a microprocessor for uh, uh, storing the mem uh, storing the informations uh, storing the uh, what uh, storing the data okay in fifth generation it's, uh, it's uh, our generation only we are using the artificial intelligence uh, what is artificial intelligence here that's memory card pen drive these are the art artificial inter, in, intelligence okay now we are using this uh, um, artificial in, intelligence method only okay okay let's uh, first for a good performance of a computer we need two important thing one is a software and another is a hardware okay let's see about the software okay the programs that that are used in computer are called software so these software are very important this software only uh, gives the uh, gives the life to the gives the life to the computer to work good in the correct manner okay let's see there are uh, two types of software is there one is the operating software another one is the application software okay let's see about the operating software software that is used to operate the computer is called operating software okay what is the best example for this operating so software we are very uh, familiar with the uh, windows uh, that's a uh, microsoft windows uh, most of them are using windows 7 8 windows 10 like that uh, uh, windows is there that is the operating software that operates the whole computer that's why we are calling this software as a uh, operating software then what about the application software application software is a software that is used to run a particular program for example um, in your uh, computer uh, youtube app is there means no uh, in uh, youtube is there in uh, all uh, types of devices in the computer youtube is there uh, one specific application is there for uh, calling in a computer one specific application is there for uh, uh, viewing the video in computer that that specific application is called the application software okay are we all clear about it application software is a software that is used to run a particular program particular program is our what in our mobile also we are having the different types of apps like whatsapp youtube like uh, more on uh, like this uh, computer also having these types of applications for playing games uh, for painting uh, for drawing uh, these type of specific applications specific apps uh, are called the application software okay let's see about the hardware hardware is a very important thing hardware only gives the boost to a uh, the software to work on in to perform in the good manner okay hardware is a watch hardware is nothing but uh, the device which are uh, connected to the 
computer is uh, monitor is called the hardware okay we are using the um, printer speakers uh, uh, what uh, keyboard mouse these are the hardware these gives the this helps the software to perform in the good manner yeah these uh, mouse keyboard uh, speakers or some printers will helps the computer to perform in the good manner okay here two types of uh, hardware or two types of devices there one is the input devices one is the output devices input devices what when we are giving the input to the system means that's called the input device for example <coughs> for example um, what the keyboard is the input device so we are uh, in the keyboard we are giving the information by typing the words uh, to the software so input <coughs> is the so sorry keyboard is the input device and also similarly mouse is also the input devices because input device because we are clicking some uh, terms clicking some uh, selecting some items by using the click one uh, by using the <coughs> mouse only here we are using the mouse as a input tool so this is the input device and also <coughs> output device is there what is the output device from that software we are um getting some information to uh to, to the printout copy or some other uh, reason means to getting out that information from that software is called the um, output devices what are the output devices <coughs> printer is output devices because we are printing some information in that a4 sheet by using the printer that is the output devices and speaker is also the output devices we are getting the sound from the computer and to the speaker so these are the output devices printer monitor is also the output devices because cpu is the main part of the computer that only gives the vision to the monitor to perform in a good manner okay next one is a cpu cpu the abbreviation of cpu is a central processing unit okay we will discuss briefly in the uh, next term okay uh, that's it this is the basic concepts of the computer that means a in an introduction of a computer okay um uh, in the upcoming videos we can see the book bag that's evaluation question with the answer of this uh, computer and introduction unit 7 6 and a new syllabus uh, term 1 term 1 and new syllabus okay that's it subscribe to our channel melting math and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you